Well, given a recent ruling by the United States Supreme Court, it seems uh, it's not a question of if, but when legalized sports wagering comes to Indiana. And the issue will be on the agenda in the 2019 session of the Indiana General Assembly. Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports. Bill. Gary, thanks. Well, betting on sports has been around nearly as long as sports themselves, but outside of Vegas and Atlantic City, it's been something many talked about but few admitted to. Now states and even professional leagues are looking to both legalize and legitimize sports gaming. And here to shed light on what could take place in Indiana is Matt Bell, a former state representative and president of the Casino Association of Indiana. And Matt, welcome. Appreciate uh, you coming on the show. It's a busy time for you as the legislative uh, session opens. What would be the Casino Association's role as this moves mm -hmm. forward through the legislature? Well, thanks for having me today. It's great to be here to talk with you about this topic and hopefully offer some education to your viewers about why Indiana should become the next state to legalize and authorize sports wagering in Indiana. The Casino Association of Indiana's members really stand with great consensus behind the idea of authorizing legal sports wagering in Indiana. We've taken a lot of time to study this issue over the last few years and have engaged partners even from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas to help educate stakeholders across the state on what great regulation of sports wagering looks like. So from our members' perspective, we want to take an activity that's occurring today in Hoosier households across the country, legalize it, create transparency, and create a revenue stream for the state and for our properties that will be beneficial to all. Yeah, and you mentioned it's been taking place today. It's been taking place for a long time, uh, <laughs> the establishment of lines, betting lines on every conceivable sporting event. You know, as we study it's that. always been around, yeah. The, the oldest recorded sports wagering laws date to the Roman Empire when they bet on chariot chariots. <laughs> so we have literally been wagering on sporting contests for thousands of years. Well, so the, the Supreme Court said, okay, we're going to do away with the pretense. They've, mm -hmm. they've legalized it. Since then, six states have already come on board and, uh, again, moving across the country. That's correct. And as legislatures convene across the country, we believe more and more states will authorize this activity within their borders. Uh, on May 14th, the Supreme Court struck down a federal law called PASPA, which denied states the opportunity to legalize sports wagering within their borders, except for those who, who are already offering it, Nevada and some states sports lottery pro uh, products in Oregon and a couple of other states. Um, Indiana has seen legislation introduced over the past couple of years. There will be legislative efforts this year as well. And as we look nationally, our American Gaming Association has done polling that shows that more than 55% of Americans um, support the idea of legal sports wagering within their state borders. You mentioned not just uh, sports wagering not only take place in the casinos across mm -hmm. the state of Indiana, but also some kind of mobile, uh, on your mobile device perhaps. So we're hopeful that that will be the case, and that's a policy decision that legislators will, will wrestle with over the next few months. Um, today, um, there's a large and very profitable offshore uh, illegal wagering um, industry. Today, folks all across the country, and even within Indiana, can use their mobile device to place bets on just about any sporting event that they want to. We believe that sports legislation, sports wagering legislation in Indiana should recognize that that's the way the Hoosier consumer interacts with that industry right now and offer a legal and authorized way to do that by offering mobile wagering in Indiana. Uh, two uh, real quick questions. We have a major uh, athletic association, the National Collegiate Athletic Association, based right here in Indianapolis within side of the state house. <laughs> How are they coming down on this? So we're very encouraged by in their the, backyard. I mean, it's going to be in their backyard. It will be. And we're very encouraged by the stance the NCAA is taking toward legal and authorized sports wagering. Their position has evolved significantly over the years. Um, they are no longer um, uh, uh, concerned about not hosting championship events in states who offer legal and authorized sports wagering. There's no threat that they might seek another home if Indiana were to do so. So we believe that um, the NCAA maintains Maintains a keen concern about uh, their student athletes and keeping their student athletes away from wagering, um, but will not stand in the way of Hoosiers um, uh, engaging in this practice in a legal and authorized way. And if the bill gets to the governor's desk, Matt. Well, if I were a betting man, <laughs> I would bet that Governor Holcomb would sign it and allow it to become law. All right. Well, Matt uh, Bell of the Casino Association of Indiana, thanks for your insight, and we'll look to see how it all plays out, no pun intended, moving through the legislative session. Gary, thanks for having me. Back to you.